before solving the questions uh, we should be knowing given a, a positional statement you should be able to convert that into a boolean expression okay uh, so for example the negation operation uh, if you have a propositional statement p then uh, usually in propositional calculus we will write it as negation of p and the corresponding boolean expression will write it as not p right similarly if you have uh, two propositional statement p and q then the uh, conjunction operation that is p and q right the corresponding boolean expression will be just p into q and similarly the disjunction operation that is p or q is uh, written as p plus q okay and uh, another important uh, prop, um, operation that is the conditional operation right if p then q right so that is uh, written as p implies q and the corresponding boolean expression is p bar plus q i, I think we all know how uh, we can get this right um, so p implies q is p bar plus q okay and this is uh, one of the important uh, operation in uh, propositional statement uh, one thing you should uh, understand that uh, if let's assume you have a uh, gate for this uh, in boolean expression let's assume you have a uh, corresponding gate for this implication operation uh, then uh, then this operation is called actually uh, one uh, it is one of the universal universal gate if this is uh, implemented as a gate implemented as a gate then this will be one of the uh, universal gate that means if you have uh, p implies q operation then you can represent uh, and not or any operation uh, using this implication okay uh, for example let's assume uh, you have p and you are you want p bar okay you want p bar so uh, what you have to do is uh, simply you can write p implies false right so p implies false will be equal to p bar plus false that will be equal to p bar right so if let's assume uh, some gate so let's assume this is the implication gate uh, and you have p here and if you give zero here then the output will be p bar right so this will be uh, representing the not gate right so you can implement the not operation and uh, let's assume you want or operation right for example if you if you are having p and q and you want p plus q right so this is also uh, now you know how you can implement this that will be equal to p implies f right implies q right so p implies um, f will be equal to p bar right then p bar implies q will be equal to p plus q right so you can implement the or operation and similarly you can also implement the and operation uh, right uh, so and operation means you have you you know once you have this not operation and or operation then definitely you will be able to uh, create the and operation right so uh, what i want to say is this operation this operation that is p implies q or the boolean expression p bar plus q is actually a universal operation using this you can implement um, uh, negation conjunction or distinction okay and another important um, um, operation is the biconditional biconditional uh, statement that is if p then q and if q then p okay so this is another uh, important proportional uh, operation that is called biconditional uh, and we usually represent it as p biconditional q okay so this is this means p implies q and q implies p okay so that means this is equal to p bar plus q and q bar plus p 
right so that will be equal to p q plus p bar q bar okay so this is equal to x nor operation and uh, one more thing uh, regard, regarding this uh, conditional statement p implies q okay uh, and it is equal to p bar plus q right so it's very clear that if q is true q is true if q is true right then this statement p bar plus q right that is p bar plus q will be always true okay so if q is true then p implies q will be always true similarly if p is false if p is false then p implies q will be always true right because p bar plus q is always true right so if someone uh, tells you for example if if uh, 5 plus 2 is equal to 3 then 2 plus 3 is equal to 8 so if this is the uh, statement if you see 5 plus 2 is equal to 3 this is always false this is always false right then false implies whatever here it will be uh, in material if so whatever value here whether it is true or or false right if i say if 5 plus 2 is equal to 3 then 2 plus 3 is equal to 8 this statement is always true because the first statement is false and we know if it is false then that implies anything will be equal to uh, true right so this statement will be always true so uh, also note that i can have if uh, 5 plus 2 is equal to 3 then 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 so here if you see this 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 this is a true statement so uh, the left side right 5 plus 2 is equal to 3 or or if here it is a true or false it doesn't matter so whatever here uh, implies false implies false sorry implies true implies true then you will be getting always this statement is true okay and uh, one more thing this statement p implies q will be false false only if p is true and q is false okay so remember all these things uh, if p is true and q is false then at that time this statement is false okay p and q are two propositions which of the following logical expressions are equivalent right so the first choice you have p plus q bar second choice you have p bar q whole bar that's equal to p plus q bar so i know that one and two are uh, correct right even i don't need to basically check one and two if you see the choices all the choices are having one and two okay one and two now let's see the third choice so that is pq plus p q bar plus p bar q bar right so i have p bar here and p here right so i can add q bar to this so this can this will be cancelled out so i have q here and q bar here so i can add p here so this term will go off so i have p plus q bar right so the third one is also p plus q bar now let's see the fourth choice that is pq pq plus p q bar plus p bar q right so i have p here and p bar here so i can add q to this so this term will go off this term will go off right so i have q here and q bar here so i can add p so what i'm getting is p plus q that is not equal to p plus q bar so the answer should be one two and three the binary operation uh, some operation is given is defined as follows so we have the binary operation corresponding to uh, this one so if you see here we have two variables and this is the output of the operation and we have false only here okay 
okay i hope um, everyone can uh, everyone knows what this expression is right what this uh, operation actually denotes but uh, if you want let's assume it's very simple uh, two variables operation so we can just write uh, this function represents actually uh, pq plus right pq bar plus p bar q bar right so this is uh, we have true here in three rows right so this will be the expression uh, basically representing f so uh, here I have Q and here I have Q bar so I can add P to this right so this term will go off this term will go off so here I have P and here I have P bar so I can add Q bar right so what I got is P plus Q bar so this is basically uh, Q implies P uh, note that P operation Q is equal to Q implies P, right? So this is the relation we have. So not Q, uh, that operation not P will be equal to not P implies not Q, right? Not P implies not Q, so that will be equal to P plus Q bar. So that is not equal to uh, P plus Q. Now let's see the second choice. We have uh, P operation q all bar so that will be equal to q bar implies p so that will be equal to p plus q right so this operation uh, basically represents p or q we can continue with c and d so uh, c says q implies not p so that's equal to not q plus not p right so this is not equal to p plus q and here we have uh, not q implies not p so that's equal to q plus p bar right this is also not equal to p plus q right so the answer should be b which of the following is not equivalent to p by conditional q right so we know that b by conditional q is equal to p q plus p bar Cube, right now we have choice a that's p bar plus q into p plus q bar right so that's equal to p q plus p bar q bar so a is correct the question is not equal right now let's see b b is again p bar plus q into p plus q bar see these are same thing so b is also true now let's see uh, c c is p bar q plus p q bar this is not equal to p q plus uh, p bar q bar so c is not equal now let's see d that is p bar q bar plus pq right that is what um, we have p, uh, p by conditional q right so d is also true right so which of the following is not equivalent that is c is not equal so the answer should be c the statement not p implies not q is logically equivalent to which of the following statements below right so we know that not p implies not q is equal to p plus q bar right now the first statement that is actually p bar plus q this is not equal to this this expression right the second statement that is q bar plus p right this is equal so the uh, answer should contain second one so choice a is wrong and similarly choice b is wrong because it says one and four now let's see the third one that is equal to p plus q bar right so i know that second and third are true right so the answer should be d the boolean function so we have a function here is equal to the boolean functions so we have to basically simplify this so we have p bar q all bar into p bar q bar all bar 
plus p r now this one will be equal to p plus q bar into p plus q plus p r so we have if you multiply you will get p here right uh, so all of the terms will get vanished right so we will have p plus p r right that is equal to p right so that is equal to p so the answer should be d a logical binary relation some operation is given and it is defined here so it takes two arguments a and p and produces some out right so if you see here only you have false here right so uh, anyone can identify that this is b implies a right anyway uh, let's uh, try that so let's assume the function f is equal to so if this both are true then it is true right so that's equal to a b then true false it is true that is a b bar plus both are false it is true right so we have a bar b bar right so if you see these two terms you have a here and a bar here so i can add b bar to this so these two terms will go off now i have b here and b bar here that means i can add a to this right so i got a plus b bar that is equal to b implies a right so a this particular operation b is equal to a plus b bar or you can write it as b implies a okay now let's see the uh, first choice first choice is not a this operation b right so that's equal to not a plus dot p right so that's equal to a bar plus b bar this dot equal to a b now let's see the second choice b that is a plus b whole bar right so that's equal to a bar into b bar that's not equal to a b now let's see the choice c we have a bar plus p whole bar this is also not equal to a b this is not equal to a b and here we have a bar plus p bar whole bar right that's equal to a bar bar into b bar bar that's equal to a b right so choice d is correct let p q r s represents the following propositions so we have four propositional statements here the integer x greater than or equal to 2 which satisfies and we have a condition here so uh, we want to find the integer x which is greater than or equal to 2 which satisfies this condition right so let me expand this expression or maybe let me just um, convert this to boolean expression so we have p implies q that is p bar plus q into r bar plus s bar right then we have all bar so that will be equal to p bar plus q all bar plus r bar plus s bar all bar so that will be equal to p q bar plus rs right so we are getting p q bar plus rs okay so this condition must be true right this must be true so this will be true if p q bar is true so what is p q bar uh, let's say is basically x should be from here and q bar says x is not a composite number right so if you see here this level right this is uh, not a composite number and it is in p right so if you give um, 11 as the input so it satisfies both p and q bar right now let's see the second condition r and s so if you see 
uh, R says X is a perfect square. X is a perfect square. And S says X is a prime number. Uh, we know that if it's a perfect square, then it cannot be uh, a prime number, right? So uh, this portion will be always false. This portion will be always false. And this can be true when X is equal to 11, right? So the answer should be 11. In propositional logic, P by conditional Q is equivalent to so we had to find the current statement for this one, right? So we know that P by conditional Q uh, is equal to P Q plus P bar Q bar, right? So the first statement, it says P plus Q all bar into P plus Q all bar. So that will be equal to P bar Q bar right into P bar Q bar so then so will be P bar Q bar so it is not A now well, let's see choice P it says P bar Q into Q bar plus P right so we get P bar Q bar plus P Q right so B is correct uh, we don't need to try for other choices, but let's see C. C says it is P plus Q into Q plus P. So that's equal to P plus Q, right? So C is wrong. D says it is P plus Q. All bar implies Q plus P all bar. That's equal to P plus Q plus P bar Q bar right so that's equal to false right this will be always false so it is not equal to D so the correct option should be B uh, this is a direct question the proposition uh, P plus Q bar is equal to right you know that uh, this one this one will be equal to P plus Q bar right so it's a direct question. The answer should be B. Which of the following shall be a compound proposition involving the propositions P, Q, and R that is true when exactly two of the P, Q, and R are true and is false otherwise? Right. So we have three proposition statements P, Q, R. Right, and this expression, right, we had find this expression, which is true when exactly two of this is true, right, that means P is equal to 1, Q is equal to 1, and R equal to 0. In this case, it should be true, right, or you can have 0, 1, 1, or you can have 1, 0, 1, right. So, any of these three conditions, it should be true, right. So, we can write it as P. Q R bar plus P bar Q R plus P Q bar R right so this is the condition basically that uh, we want we want exactly two of them should be true and that should be false and all other scenarios it should be false right now if you see the choice C we have the same scenario P Q R bar plus p q bar r plus p bar q r right so the answer should be c now let's see what we mean by tautologies contradiction and satisfiability so uh, let's uh, consider a propositional statement for example uh, p bar implies p plus q okay so uh, this is just a uh, proposition statement and uh, you can see that there are two variables here one is p and another is q so that means you can give uh, different values to this proposition for example i can give 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 right and then we can evaluate uh, this expression for example here i have p bar 
implies p plus q right so what is p bar implies p plus q that will be equal to p plus p plus q right so that's equal to p plus q right so 0 0 the output of p bar plus p plus q p bar implies p plus q will be equal to 0 this will be 1 and this will be 1 and this will be 1 right so given a boolean expression of two variables you can basically give four different values to this and this expression may vary to true or false depending on the values you are passing right so if uh, in a boolean expression if in a proportional statement for all the different uh, input combinations if let's assume you are always getting the output as one always getting the output as one then we call that as a tautology tautology okay or sometimes we will say as valid okay so this expression this expression is not a tautology because for the input 0 0 it is not evaluating the output as one right so it is not a tautology now the same way uh, what is contradiction contradiction so we say the uh, given proportion statement is a contradiction if uh, for every uh, combination of the input uh, let's assume we are always evaluating it as false always evaluating it as false then then we say that uh, that boolean that proportion statement is a contradiction okay so here the given proportion statement is a not a not a contradiction because we have at least one row which has the value true right so all the values are zero then we can say it's a contradiction okay now the next time is satisfiable uh, satisfiable means uh, uh, if you give the input different inputs right for uh, at least one input at least one input the answer is true then we say that that expression is satisfiable that means there exists some at least one assignment for which this expression evaluates is true uh, so this expression is actually a satisfiable expression because um, for at least one input right so for example the input 0 comma 1 this expression evaluates to true okay so that is uh, tautology conversion and satisfiable now how can we prove that an expression is tautology so sometimes we may be asked to prove that an expression is tautology so the idea is basically very simple you have this expression convert that into boolean algebra expression and minimize it then if you are getting one that means it's a tautology okay tautology and if you are getting zero that means it's a contradiction okay and also it is uh, easy to uh, without solving the boolean expression also we can say that the given expression is a tautology or not for example if you have something like p implies q then if you are able to prove that this p that is actually equal to true and the q is equal to false if for any assignment if for any assignment from the input if you can prove that uh, there is an assignment such that the p value is true and the uh, right hand side the q value is false then in that case um, the the given proposition will not be a tautology okay will not be a tautology okay so we'll see uh, both these methods to prove an uh, expression tautology um, we'll be mainly using the uh, converting into a boolean expression solving it uh, because that is just a systematic way of doing it uh, but when we go to predicate calculus uh, you should be knowing this idea okay consider the compound propositions given below so we have three proposition statement and which of the above propositions are tautology right so if it's a tautology then if i minimize i should be getting the answer as true now let's see the first choice a that is equal to p plus p q all power so that's equal to p plus p power plus q right so we have p plus p bar that means this expression is evaluated to true so a is a tautology so b and c choice b this is wrong now let's see the uh, next choice b that's p q bar 
pq bar plus pq all bar so that's equal to pq bar plus p bar plus q bar so i have q bar here and pq bar here so i can cancel this term so i'm getting p bar plus q bar this is not equal true always right so b is not a tautology so that means c is wrong now uh, let's take c we have p and q or r right so this means p into q plus r so uh, this is not going to valid to true always so c is also wrong so that means a is wrong so the correct option should be d choose the correct alternatives more than one may be correct which of the following is r tautologies so first choice we have a plus b implies pc right so if this is a tautology then this expression should evaluate to true right so we know that this is equal to a plus b all bar plus bc that's equal to a bar into b bar plus bc right so this is not going to evaluate as true right so let's see the second choice b a b implies b plus c so that's equal to a b all bar plus b plus c so that's equal to a bar plus b bar plus b plus c so we have b plus b bar so this is going to evaluate as true so this is a tautology now let's see c we have a plus b implies b implies c is b bar plus c right so that will be equal to a bar into b bar plus b bar plus c so that's equal to b bar plus c this is also not a tautology now let's see the choice d we have a bar plus b implies b bar plus c so that's equal to a bar plus b all bar plus b bar plus c so that's equal to a b bar plus b bar plus c so that's equal to b bar plus c so this is also not a tautology so only b is the correct answer and we will see how can we use this uh, how can we solve this using another uh, method so the question is which of the following are tautology so uh, we know that uh, if the expression p implies q is a tautology that means uh, for different uh, assignments of the uh, variables uh, values to the variables p and q the uh, output or the value of this function this uh, expression should be always true right uh, and we know that it, it is not a tautology if um, if you have p is equal to true and q is equal to false so if you can uh, find an assignment such that uh, the left side evaluates to true and the right side evaluates to false then we know that p implies q is not a tautology is not a tautology right so uh, what we are going trying to do is uh, whenever we have a, uh, an expression like this if it is not a tautology then what we will try to do is we will assign some uh, way we will try to assign uh, the truth values so that this right side evaluates to false and the left side evaluates to true so we will have something like true implies false that is wrong right so we can say that it is not a tautology now let's see uh, whether we can have true implies false okay so uh, i know that i have a c here right i have a c here so if the c is false c is false right c is false then uh, here it will be this portion will be false right and here if you see i can make a is equal to so whatever value of b maybe i will say b is equal to uh, true right so what i have a or b that is a is true b is true so i have left side true now right side if i see i have b and c b and c right i have to b is equal to true c is equal to false so the right side is false so i am getting true implies false for an assignment so i know that this is not a tautology okay now let's see uh, this one 
I have I need to have true here and I need to have false here. Right? How can I have true here? So only possibility is A should be equal to true and B should be equal to true. Right? So both A and B are true here. Okay. Now the right side I need to have false, right? Then only I will have true implies false. But uh, as I assigned A is equal to true and B is equal to true, here also B will be true, right? So true or something will be true, right? So I cannot have false here. That means this should be a tautology, okay? Now let's come here. So I want here this portion should be true and this portion should be false, right? So I need B implies C is equal to false. This statement should be false. How can this false? Only if B is true, B is true and C is false, right? So I know this statement should evaluate to false. That means B is true and C is false, right? Now since B is true, right? See, I have A or B. So that means I have true here. So this is also not a tautology. Now let's come here. The last choice, I need to have true here and I need to have false here, right? Then only I will have true implies false. So this statement B implies C, B implies C should be false, right? That means B should be true and C should be false, okay? So I know that B is true and C is false. So B implies C is false. Now, uh, since I know B is true, a implies B will be always true. So I have true implies false. So that means D is also not a tautology. So the answer should be B. The proposition P and not P or Q is. So we have some choices here. So let me see P and P bar plus Q. Right. So that's equal to P Q or it is equal to P and Q. Right. So the answer should be B. Which of the following is false? Okay. So let's see the first choice A. We have x implies y that is x bar plus y into x right implies y. So that's equal to y x implies y. Uh, this is uh, this should be true because if you have y and x, you can always say the value of y, right? That's what it says anyway. Uh, let me continue like this. So we'll get y x all bar plus y is equal to y bar plus x bar plus y. So y plus y bar will be true. So this statement evaluates to true. Now let's see the choice B. You have x plus y into x plus y bar, right, all bar plus x, right, that is the implication, right. So we have x into x will be x, right, then yeah, if you multiply this x into x, you'll get x, then x into y bar, x y bar, but you don't need to write it because you have x here, y x, you don't need to write y into y, y bar. So basically this is x. So x bar plus x, so this is true. So this is also evaluates to true. This is also evaluates to true. Now we have choice C. We have x bar plus x plus y. This is also evaluates to true. Then we have D that is X plus Y, right? Double implication, right? By implication, X plus Y, right? Uh, if you see, uh, this says if this is true, this is also true, right? Uh, if this is true, this is also true. That is the meaning of uh, if and only if. So I can prove this is invalid if I can get true here and false here. Right? Or I can say false here and true here. 
so i can take x is equal to x is equal to false and y y is equal to true then that means left side i have true right and right side x is equal to false y is equal to true so y bar is false so i have false here so it means true implies false right so that is not correct so answer d should be wrong okay okay so you can also see that these are uh, valid by just uh, uh, seeing the assign uh, just by just assigning some values for example i know this is false or it's uh, it's a wrong uh, statement if i can derive true implies false right so that means y should be y should be false right if y is false right uh, this statement should be true that means i need to have x is equal to true right if x is equal to true then and y is equal to false y is equal to false then x implies y right that will be false because x is true right x is true true implies y is false so true implies y is false is false so false false and false sorry false and true will be false so basically i will not be able to create true here if i assign the value y equal to false so in that way also you can actually try but it is uh, i feel like you can just directly convert it to boolean expression and solve it uh, that will be uh, easy here okay so the here the answer should be uh, t which of the following proposition is a tautology so we have a choice a that is p plus q all power plus p right that is equal to p bar q bar plus p so that is equal to p plus q bar which is not a tautology and if you see the choice b we have p plus q bar plus p which is also not a tautology and if you see choice c choice c is p plus p bar plus q uh, p plus p bar is true so true plus q is true so this is a tautology now if you see the choice d that is p bar plus p bar plus q that's equal to p bar plus q so this is also not a tautology okay so the correct option should be c consider the two well-formed formulas in propositional logic p implies not p so what is p implies not p p implies not p is nothing but p bar plus p bar so that's equal to p bar okay so uh, basically the statement f1 is satisfiable satisfiable but not at tautology right uh, because that is evaluating to p bar so if p is equal to false if p is equal to false then this statement will be true right if p is equal to true then this statement will be false so there exists at least one truth assignment for which this expression is true so we call that is satisfied so we know that f1 is satisfiable so choice b is wrong choice c is also wrong now let's see the choice i in f2 f2 says p implies not p so that's we know that that's equal to p bar plus not p implies p so that will be equal to p so p bar plus p is true so f2 is valid right so the answer should be a let p comma q comma r and s be for primitive statements consider the following arguments so we have four arguments here which of the above arguments are valid so if you see the choices all the choices are having p so p should be valid so i don't need to worry about p now uh, let me see s okay because if s is false i can remove these two choices right so let me see s so that is p into p bar plus r into q plus r bar implies q right so p r into q plus r bar implies q so here if you multiply this it will be p r q implies q 
okay so one thing you should understand that this should be a tautology because if this portion is true uh, definitely this portion will be true right because uh, if this portion will be true only if p r and q are true then you cannot make this as false okay so anyway you can continue if you want this will be equal to p bar plus r bar plus q bar plus q so you have q plus q bar that's equal to 1 right so this is uh, evaluating to true so that means um, s is a tautology right so that means choice a is wrong choice b is wrong now uh, the answer may be c or d right now let's see the choice r let's see the choice r so i have q r implies p and q bar plus p right and this implies r right now q r implies p will be equal to q bar plus r bar plus p into q bar plus p implies r so q bar into q bar will be q bar plus uh, q bar into p you don't need to write r bar q bar you don't need to write r bar p you don't need to write because you have p right so q bar plus p implies r so uh, this is this cannot be a tautology right this cannot be a tautology right so if you want you can proceed it will be q p bar plus r this is not a tautology so uh, what we know is r is not a tautology so the answer should be p and s you see you can solve the same problem is without converting into boolean expression directly by uh, truth assignment you can solve this uh, for example uh, let's see the choice s and let's assume we want to prove this is not valid argument so that means this portion this portion should be true and this portion should be false right so i know that q should be false q should be false and so that is how i can make uh, this side as uh, false right so i had to make q is equal to false now this side i had to make true right so uh, if you see i have and so now i know that p should be true p should be true right p should be true now i have and operation here so that means p implies r so as i know p is equal to true r should be equal to true right so i know p is true p is true and r is true now this portion also should be true also already i know that q is false so that means not r should be true but we have already assigned r is equal to true so not r will be false so that means assigning q is equal to false you cannot make the left side true the left side will be false so that means uh, this the, that means you don't have a truth assignment to make this statement of the form true implies false so that means s is a tautology okay now uh, let's see r okay so we have q r implies p and not q sorry not q or p right implies r so i want to have a truth assignment such that i have true implies false if i can have like this then that means r is not a tautology right so let's take r is equal to false because i need true implies false so r should be false so if r is false this q and r will be false right so false implies anything will be true so i have got true here irrespective of the value of q and p uh, this will be well traced true now and i have not q or p right so i can take p is equal to true p is equal to true so this portion will be well traced true so true and true will be true so i am getting a truth assignment such that true equal to false 
uh, the truth assignment will be r is equal to false right then p is equal to true i can take whatever value for q that is not an issue so if r is equal to false and p is equal to true uh, i am getting true implies false so that means r is not a tautology right so i know that s is a tautology and p is also a tautology so choice c should be the correct one which one of the following propositional logic formulas is true when exactly two of p q and r are true right so we have p q r and we need exactly two of them as true right so it can be 1 1 0 or it can be 1 0 1 or it can be 0 1 1 right so uh, that means we are interested in the expression p q r bar plus p q bar r plus p bar q r right so this is the expression we are expecting okay now um, if you see all these choices we are actually having uh, p q r bar see p q r bar and p q r bar here and p q r bar here right so we are interested in plus so if you see here i have and here I have uh, all other places I have or right so uh, let me try uh, what this x this one right oh, here I don't need to carry very okay so let me try uh, what this one is okay so that is equal to uh, p by implication q all bar and r right so what is p by implication q that is equal to p q plus p bar q bar now i have all bar here then multiply that with r right so i get p bar or p q all bar into p bar q bar all bar right into r so this is equal to p bar plus q bar into p plus q into r so that's equal to p bar q r plus p q bar r right so this is getting evaluated as this portion is getting evaluated as p bar q r plus p q bar r now uh, I have this portion that is equal to PQ R bar. So that is the expression we are expecting. So the answer should be B. The following propositional statement. So we have a statement here and we need to find out whether it is satisfiable, uh, valid or a condition. Right. So let me write the expression here. We have P bar plus Q plus R implies right p q implies r that is equal to p bar plus q bar plus r so this is the expression we have uh, just by seeing this itself we know that uh, it is not valid it is not contradiction but it is satisfied so the answer should be a uh, because for example i can uh, assign uh, the value of q is equal to true and so this is false and this is false uh, so if you see this uh, right hand side this will be false this will be false but q bar will be uh, false right so you will have true implies false so that makes this statement false right this statement will be false now if you uh, want to make uh, true implies true so you can make r is equal to true so here it will be true and here also it will be true right so at that time this expression value is true so there exists at least one truth assignment for which the expression is true but it is not the case that all the truth assignment it's where is true right so choice a is true now if you want further and see uh, uh, whether it validates to true or false you can uh, proceed further for, uh, from here okay so we'll have p plus q plus r all bar plus p bar plus q bar plus r so this will be equal to p bar q bar r bar plus p bar plus q bar plus r 
So uh, I have q bar here, right? So this term contains q bar. So I can just remove this, right? So this is getting evaluated as p bar plus q bar plus r, and we know that it is not evaluated as always true or always false. So it is satisfiable but not valid. Let p comma q and r three be three atomic propositional assertions. Let capital X denote P or Q implies R and capital Y denote P implies R or Q implies R. Which one of the following is a tautology? So it's given that X is equal to P plus Q implies R, right? So P plus Q all bar plus R. So that's equal to P bar into Q bar plus R. That is what is X. Now what is Y? Y is P implies R that is P bar plus R plus Q implies R that is Q bar plus R. Right, so that is equal to P bar plus Q bar plus R. Okay, and we know that X is equal to Y. This is strong. X implies Y. That means if X is true, can we say if X is true, then Y is always true that is the question right so x we have p bar q bar plus r implies p bar plus q bar plus r right so we know that this can be true if r is true so if r is true this statement this right side also will be true if r is false then uh, p bar and q bar both should be true then in that case also the right side will be true, right? That means if the left uh, left side is true, definitely the right side will be true. So this, this statement should be true. Anyway, uh, let me just complete this. So uh, this is an implication. So I can write it as P bar Q bar plus R or bar plus P bar plus Q bar plus R, right? So what I will get here is P plus Q into R bar plus P bar plus Q bar plus R. So that's equal to P R bar plus Q R bar plus P bar plus Q bar plus R. So I have R here, R bar here. So I can add Q, right? So I have Q here and Q bar here. So that means this is going to be as true. So that means the choice B is true. Okay. Consider the following propositional statements. So we have two statements here. And they are asking us to find out uh, which of these are tautologies. See, uh, for example, if you consider this expression, this expression uh, can be a tautology if the, uh, if you see there is a, uh, equality sign here so that means the left hand side of the expression and the right hand side of the expression both should be same then only we can say that it is a tautology that means this is always true if you have the expression left side and the expression right side are same now let's take the statement p1 p1 is saying a and b implies c that means a b bar plus c right so that's equal to a bar plus B bar plus C and if you see the right hand side that is A bar plus C into B bar plus C right so that's equal to A bar B bar plus C right these two are not equal so the P1 is not a tautology now let's see the statement P2 P2 says A or B implies C right so A or B implies C right so that's equal to a bar into b bar plus c now if you see the right hand side it is a bar c a bar plus c right plus b bar plus c so that's equal to a bar plus b bar plus c see these two are not equal these two are not equal that means both p1 and p2 are not tautologies answer should be D. Let P, Q and R be propositions 
and the expression P implies Q implies R be a contradiction. So it's already given that P implies Q that is P bar plus Q implies R right this is a contradiction. So this is a false. This is false right. So what we know is that P bar bar into Q bar plus R is equal to false right. So that means P Q bar plus R is equal to false right. So what I know is that R is false R is false. Now let's see the expression R implies P implies Q okay. So what we know is that R is false since R is false see R is false R implies P R implies P should be true right. So what we are getting is true implies Q right true implies Q. Now this is equal to this is equal to Q right. So T implies T, uh, true implies Q is nothing but uh, false plus Q that is Q right. So we are getting the expression as Q. So we can say that uh, this expression will be always true when Q is true right because uh, this expression basically now evaluates Q uh, given that R is false right. So the value of this expression is directly determined by the value of Q right. So if Q is true then this expression will always evaluate to true. So the answer should be D. Let A, B, C, D be proposition. Assume that the equivalence A by implication B or not B and B by implication C hold. That means A by implication true. That means the value of A should be true. Here I have B by implication C. That means if B is true, then then C should be true, right? Um, or I can say if uh, B is false, then C is false. Okay, so if B by implication C holds, means uh, the only possible truth assignments for B and C are true, true, and false, false. Okay. So now uh, let's see the formula. We have A that is true, right? So true and B that is B. B implies A is true, right? A and C, C, C plus B, right? So uh, this will be equal to B bar plus C plus B, right? Now we know that if C is true, right? C is true. If C is true, then B bar should be false. And uh, this assignment will be the, the truth assignment will yield the result as true, right? Now, let's assume C is false. If C is false, then we know that the B bar should be true, right? In that case also, uh, it will evaluate to true, okay? So, these are the only possible values for B and C. And in these values, this expression always, always evaluates to true. So we can say that this expression always evaluates to true if these two conditions hold. Okay. Premises are assertions that when joined together will lead to conclusions. Uh, for example, let's assume you have the uh, set of premises H1, H2, etc., etc. And uh, let's assume you have a conclusion. Or, or you have a consequence of these premises. Let me call that as C. Then we say that uh, this this conclusion is valid if you have H1 and H2 and H3, etc. Hn implies C is a tautology. We can see some example. 
so that uh, this will be uh, easy for you. Consider the following logical inferences. So I have set of premises and an inference or a conclusion. So let's see it part by part. So this is the first part we have solved. So I have two premises. So let me call that as P1 and P2. Okay. So if you see the first statement, it says if it trains, then the cricket match will not be played. Let's assume P denotes it trains and Q denotes the cricket match is played. So the first statement can be written as if it trains, that is P, right? P implies cricket match will not be played. Q means cricket match will be played. So, not Q will implies cricket match will not be played. Right? Now, let's see the second statement. The cricket match was played. So, that is basically Q. Now, what we know is that these are the two premises. I have P implies not Q and I have Q. Right? So, I have a conclusion here that is also given at this inference. There was no rain. That means the conclusion is not P. Right. Now what we say that this conclusion is true if P1 and P2 implies C is a tautology. Okay. So I have P implies not Q and P2 that is Q implies not P. Right? P implies not Q is P bar plus Q bar into Q implies not P. That's equal to P bar Q implies not P. So that is true, right? If you see this portion, if this portion is true, always this portion will be true, right? So anyway, if I write uh, again one more step, I will be getting P plus Q bar plus P bar. So this is always true. See, now we know that this, this is actually a tautology. That means the first inference is true. Okay, now let's see the second inference. So this is the um, premises. It says, if it trains, then the cricket match will not be paid okay so again let me here i have again two premises p1 and p2 so p1 says if it rains so we assume p means if it rains right so p implies cricket match will not be played so that is same as not q and second premise says it did not train that means we have p means it rains right so it did not train. So that means not P. Okay, and we have a conclusion. So what is the conclusion here? Or the inference? The cricket match was played. Right? So the cricket match will be played is Q, right? So the conclusion is Q. Okay, you can even uh, think logically and find out the correct answer. So, I am just following a procedure so that uh, you can blindly do this. So, that means uh, if this is true if you have P implies not Q and not P implies Q is a tautology. So, that means P bar plus Q bar into P bar implies Q is a tautology. That means P bar implies Q is a tautology, right? And we know that P bar implies Q is nothing but P plus Q, right? It is not a tautology, right? So that means the uh, second inference is wrong, but the first inference was correct. So the answer should be I1 is correct, but I2 is not a correct inference. In propositional logic, given P and P implies Q, we can infer. So it's given we have P 
and P implies Q, right? So this is equal to P into P bar plus Q, right? So that's equal to P, right? So P Q, uh, you have these four choices. It's very clear that P Q implies Q is true because if uh, this side is false, you cannot make this side true, right? Because Q is false means definitely P Q also should be false. So P Q implies q is true so this should be true right also if you can see you have something as p implies sorry pq implies pq right that is the choice c uh, that also should be true right so b is true c is true then choice A, P, Q implies not Q. This is not correct because not Q, uh, you can have Q is equal to true. Then not Q will be false, right? But here you can have true, right? So choice A is not correct. Choice D, P, Q implies P bar Q. Uh, this is also not uh, true. You can have false here, uh, assuming that P is true. And Q is true, right? But you can have true here. So D is wrong. So the answer should be both P and C. Consider the following expressions. So we have five expressions here. So the question is number of expressions given above that are logically implied by this expression. So we had to find number of expressions, right? So we had to analyze one by one. So the first statement that is P and P implies Q logically implied by the statement, right? So that means implied false. That is the first statement. Now whether this is a tautology or not. So what is P and P implies Q? That is P and P bar plus Q. Right, so that's equal to PQ. So PQ implies false. Is this is a uh, tautology? No, right. So this is not a tautology. So the first one is wrong. PQ implies Q. Is this a tautology? Yes, definitely it should be a tautology, right? So because if uh, you have true here, definitely you should be having true here, right? Or if you are having false here, you cannot make it true here. Right, so or you can even try uh, PQ implies Q means uh, PQ bar plus Q. So you'll be getting P bar plus Q bar plus Q. So Q plus Q bar will be true, and so this is a tautology. Right, so second one is a tautology. The third one, if you see, that is says PQ is implies true. And we know that if the right hand side is true, always uh, this will be tautology, right? So the third one is also tautology. And now the fourth one that says PQ implies P or Q. That's also uh, always a tautology because if you see this side, uh, if this side is true, uh, this side always will be true, right? So anyway, we can try this. Uh, we can expand this so we'll be getting p bar plus q bar plus p plus q so this is equal to true right so p or q is a tautology now let's see p or not q right so can you say p q p q is p and p implies q is p q right so p q implies p plus q bar is it a tautology let's let's see Definitely it should be a tautology because uh, if this portion is true, that means P is true and Q is true, right? Q is true. So that means the right side also will be true because P is true, right? So anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, if you convert this into Boolean expression, you will be getting PQ or bar plus P plus Q bar. So that will be equal to P bar plus Q bar plus P plus Q bar. So I have P here and p bar here so this is going to validate as true so 
uh, all these four statements are logically implied by this expression except the first one so the answer should be four consider the following statements so we have two statements p and q and we have some other statements uh, it says p implies q q implies p and p is equivalent to q and we had to find out which of the uh, statements about l m n is correct so we had to find these statements which of these statements are correct so we have some sentence in english here so we had to convert this into propositional statement so let's assume you have good mobile fonts mobile fonts corresponds to maybe uh, g and cheap cheap mobile fonts corresponds to c so the first statement says good mobile fonts are not cheap or it says good mobile fonts are not cheap mobile fonts right so the first statement says if we have a good mobile phone then it is not cheap cheap mobile phone right so uh, i can say that if i have a good mobile phone then it is not a cheap mobile phone right similarly if you see the second statement says if you have a cheap mobile phone right then that implies it is not a good mobile phone right so the first statement says g implies not c that is basically g bar plus c bar and the second statement if you see that is equal to c bar plus g bar right so i can say that p is equivalent to q so that means p implies q that is true right and q implies p that is also true right so uh, l is true m is true and n is also true right so the answer should be d consider the following two statements we have two premises here and four conclusions so which of the following four conclusions are uh, logically valid okay or logically uh, the correct inference okay so the first statement says if a candidate is not to be correct then he will not be elected second statement if a candidate is kind he will be elected okay so uh, let me assume if a candidate is not to be correct right so we say that a person person is corrupt correct let me call that um, statement as p second statement a person is elected we call that as q and the third statement a person is kind let me call that as r first premise says if a candidate is not to be corrupt that is p then he will not be elected right that means not q so this is s1 second statement if a candidate is kind he will be elected right so r implies q so this is the second statement s2 and we have now four choices we have to find out which of the following is correct uh, this is actually an easy method to solve this because we can uh, we know that p implies not q that means if p is true then uh, this this premises are actually um, tautologies right means this premises are assuming that this premises are always true that means if p is true then uh, q should be false right <clears throat> now if you take the first statement that's s1 we have p implies not q right that means that's equal to p bar plus q bar now uh, we can rewrite this as q implies p bar 
right? This is also going to evaluate as p bar plus q bar, right? So p implies dot q is basically equal to q implies dot p. So this is called the contrapositive of the statement. So what we know is that r implies q that is true and q implies not p this is also true so i can say that r implies not p will be true right that means if a person is kind then he is not known to be correct right so the answer c is correct now let's assume uh, you are not able to identify this identity so what you know is that S1, the statement S1 is equal to P implies not Q. That's equal to P bar plus Q bar, right? And you have S2, that's equal to R implies Q, that's equal to R bar plus Q, right? If these two are true, so I have to uh, multiply this two, right? P bar plus Q bar into R bar plus Q. So I'll be getting P bar R bar plus P bar Q plus Q bar R bar, right? So this will be equal to I have Q here and Q bar here. So I can add P bar R bar or I can remove P bar R bar. So, I can remove this term. So, this will be equal to P bar Q plus Q bar R bar. Okay. So, this, this is the uh, meaning of our devices. Okay. Now, let's see uh, choice by choice. So, first choice says, if a person is known to be correct, that is P, He is kind. It's P implies R. Right? That's equal to P bar plus R. Okay? Now, if this is a valid conclusion, then P bar Q plus Q bar R bar implies P bar plus R should be a tautology. Right, so if it is not a tautology, I will be able to write it uh, have a truth assignment such that true implies false. Right, so this side, how can we make it as false? So I have to make it as p is equal to true and r is equal to false. Now, since p is true, right, this side, this side, p bar will be false, so this term will be false. Okay, uh, R is false, so R bar will be true. So basically, I can choose whatever value for Q bar. I'm selecting Q bar is equal to true, so I will have true is equal to false, right? So that means A is not a topology. Now let's see uh, the choice B. It says if person is not not to be correct, that means not P implies he is not kind. That is not R, right? So this is equal to P plus R bar. Okay. So if this is correct, then P bar Q plus Q bar R bar implies P plus R bar should be a topology. So I had to prove that it is not a topology, right? So I had to make this side true and this side false, right? So that means P. P should be false and R should be true. Right? So P is false, so P bar is like P bar will be true. And Q, I haven't assigned any truth value, so I can assign Q as true. So the left hand side I will be getting true, and right hand side I will be getting false. So I have true implies false. Right? So B is also not true. Now let's see C. It says a person is kind, that means R, then he is not going to be correct, right? So R implies not P, okay? R implies not P. So that means R bar plus P bar 
and left hand side uh, if this is correct then p bar q plus q bar r bar implies r bar plus p this should be a tautology right so uh, i had to prove this is not a tautology so i had to make this side true and this side false right so i had to have r is equal to true and p is equal to true right then only uh, the right hand side will be false so i know that r is true so since r is true uh, if you see the left hand side i have r bar here so that will be false so this term will be false now uh, i have p is equal to true i have p bar here so that means p bar will be false so this term will be false so basically i will not be able to make uh, the left hand side is true right now once i are saying the same and here for the right hand side to make it false i could see that the left hand side is also becoming false so i will not be able to have a truth of semantics such that true implies false so that means c is a tautology so c is correct okay so this way also you can solve this now let's see how can we convert an english sentence into a propositional statement so if you see a propositional statement of the form p implies q so the p is called the premises or the antecedent and q is called the conclusion right so uh, given a sentence uh, we should be able to find out which one is a um, antecedent and which, which one is a conclusion right so uh, the idea is very simple uh, given a sentence you search for the keywords like if implies whenever when follows from okay so if you see the keywords like this whatever comes just after the if the proposition statement just comes after the if is usually will be the antecedent okay so uh, the next proposition statement will be the conclusion okay or the consequence so if p then q see if you see this proposition p this is just after the if right so we can write it as p implies q the next one that is uh, directly we know p implies q and if you see here the third sentence if p comma q again this p is just after the if so i can write p implies q now if you see here only if okay so there is difference how we treat the sentence only if we will see that later similarly for sufficient and necessary these statements we will see uh, later also the unless okay apart from that if you see here q if p so this p is after the if so it should be written as p implies q you have q whenever p so p is after whenever so you can write it as p implies q q when p so again here p is after when so we can write it as p implies q okay so if you see this sentence q follows from p so you see p is after follows from p right so p implies q so let's see the statement that has only if for example you can say that a match is burning only if there is oxygen in the room right so uh, usual convention is whatever follows the if right uh, that should be the uh, antecedent or the premise right uh, but that is not true in the case of only if okay so if you observe this statement what the statement is saying is uh, if a match is burning then we are sure that that room contains oxygen right so we can write this as if a match is, is burning then there is oxygen in the room right oxygen in the room okay so uh, if you see uh, what i am saying is if you have a statement something like p only if q if we are saying this only if right so uh, in that case this p is considered as the premise or antecedent 
and q will be the conclusion okay so this will be equal to p implies q okay okay so you can remember this example also uh, a match is burning a match is burning only if there is oxygen in the room that means actually if a match is burning then it is sure that the, there is an oxygen in the room okay so remember this p only if q is equal to p implies q okay now let's see the statement uh, that are connected uh, by unless so if i say that he will not he will not get job unless he is experienced so what it says is that if he is not experienced if he is not experienced then he will not get job he will not get job right that is the meaning of the statement right so if you see after unless what we have is he is experienced right so we took the negation of that see if he is not experienced then then he will not get job right he will not get job Okay, so what we are saying is if you have something like P unless unless Q, then what you have to do is take this Q to the left side, negate it, so you will get negation of Q implies uh, this P to the right side, so that will be equal to not Q implies P. Okay, so if I write Q unless P, then it should be after unless whatever you have it's p right so dot p implies this one here right q. now let's see the statement if i am rich then i will be happy okay so uh, let's take uh, i am rich is the proposition p and i will be happy that's proposition q then this statement we have if p then q right so that means we have p implies q so this statement can be written like p implies q so what it means is if i am rich then i will be happy right so let's assume uh, i am not rich if i am not rich is it mean that i will not be happy no right it doesn't, doesn't mean like that right so uh, i can say that uh, this condition this condition is sufficient for me to be happy right but this is not necessary see without being rich also i can be happy so for this condition is sufficient for me to be happy right so we can write as p is sufficient sufficient for Okay. so remember that whenever you have p sufficient for q then uh, that means we have the implication p implies q okay uh, we can uh, see one more example if you want if i write if you have a driver's license then you have passed the driver's test so basically it says that having having a driver's license driver's license is sufficient sufficient for you to pass the driver's test okay so uh, if having a driver's license is uh, the statement P and you have passed the driver's test is the statement Q, then we write P is sufficient, sufficient for Q. So remember, whenever you have P is sufficient for Q, that means you have P implies Q. Okay, P implies Q. So I, I hope it is clear. Uh, we will see uh, next what is meaning of necessary. So let me use the same example. 
that's uh, if you have a driver's license then you have passed the driver's test right so we know that uh, if you assume that having a driver's license that is the proposition p and uh, you have passed the driver's test that is q then we can write this as p implies q right also we know that the same sentence can be written as having a driver's license is sufficient for me to pass the driver's test right now we can uh, even rewrite this sentence as passing the driver's test is necessary necessary to have a driver's license right this is right right so uh, i just rewrote this uh, sentence with uh, necessary it says passing the driver's test is necessary to have a driver's license now if you see passing the driver's test is q so what i am saying is q is necessary necessary for p right and we know that these two sentences are same that means q is necessary for p should be equal to p implies q okay so uh, we should understand that if i write p is sufficient sufficient for q that means p implies q if i say q is necessary necessary for p then that means p implies q okay so uh, you should be able to identify the antecedent so whatever coming before sufficient see whatever coming before sufficient is the antecedent and whatever coming coming after the necessary is the antecedent here okay so p implies q means p is sufficient for q and uh, you can say that q is necessary for p right so we have three arguments here and we need to find out which of the following arguments are not valid so it's very easy to see that the third choice is wrong because it says that if n greater than 1 then n square is greater than 1 now suppose n square is greater than 1 then can we say that n is greater than 1 right so that is not possible right so for example if you have n is equal to minus 2 your n square will be greater than 1 but n will not be greater than 1 right so uh, choice 3 is not valid so option d should be wrong now uh, let's see the choice 2 it says either puneet is not guilty or pangaj is telling the truth okay so we have either or okay see either or right so what is either or it is equivalent to x or right so if you have x or gate right so that will be equal to p q bar plus p bar q right this is the xor uh, expression right so it's given that either puneet is not guilty or pangaj is telling the truth that means this portion is true so this portion is true okay so if this portion is true that means uh, this should evaluate to what right so that means the possible values of p and q are if p is true then q should be false or if p is false then q should be true if you assume punit is not guilty that is equal to p and pangaj is telling the truth that is q it is given that pangaj is not telling the truth right pangaj is not telling the truth that means q is false so if q is false see q is false that is also given right so if q is false then p should be true what is p p is puneet is not guilty right that should be true so we can conclude that puneet is not guilty so 2 is correct so this 
we are asked to find out which of the arguments are not valid, right? So B should be wrong, C should be wrong. So the answer should be 1 and 3. Okay, so you can uh, use the same idea to show that 1 is not valid. Okay, so the answer should be 1 and 3. What is the converse of the following assertion? I stay only if you go. So let's assume I stay is the proposition of sending P and you go is the proposition of sending Q. So we have P only if Q. Right, so P and Q are connected with only if and we know that that should be equal to P implies Q. Right? Now we had to find the converse of the sentence. So the converse of P implies Q is equal to Q implies P. So this is the converse statement. Okay. That means if Q then P is the converse. Okay. Now um, so that means now uh, we uh, if you see the choices here uh, all the choices are having the term if okay see if you can easily find out there's an if in all the terms right so that means your antecedent should be uh, here q that should be immediately after the q oh, sorry that should be immediately after the if right so uh, here our antecedent or uh, premise should be you go okay so if you see i have here if you go see if you go then i stay if you go so the statement says i stay if you go so if you if you consider this is p and this is q right so this should be represented as q implies p okay so the answer should be a so we have a proposition statement if x then y unless set right and we want to represent that in form of propositional logic so uh, let me write it here if x then y unless z right so let's assume if x then y is represented as p and z is represented as q so we have p unless q right so we know how to convert this into a proposition statement that is very easy we have to take this and complement it not q implies p right so we have not q implies p so q is z here so we have not z implies p p is if x then y right that means that is x implies y so that means we have z plus x bar plus y okay so now if you see the choices right i need to get y here right so that means y should be in the right side or in the left side it should be in the complement form right if you see the choices it is very clear uh, this should be the correct one so anyway and also you can see that i have x bar here and that, that is in the complement form here i have z here and that's also in the complement form here so this should be the answer anyway uh, let me try this this is x z bar implies y so that will be equal to x bar plus z plus y right so that is the uh, answer we have so the option should be a let p q r denote the statements it is raining it is cold and it is pleasant respectively so basically we have to convert uh, this english statement into a propositional statement using the and or an implication right so it is raining that is represented as p so it is not raining right so that will be p not p it is pleasant that will be r 
it is not pleasant that will be not r it is raining that will be p it is cold that will be q right so the statement here is not p and r right and not r only if p and q right so that will be equal to not p and r and we have only if here so we know that when we have only if what we have to do we have to take not left side implies right side right so that will be equal to not r implies p and q right so the choice a should be correct okay so we have a english statement here and we want to convert that into proportional statement it is given that we have some variables denoting uh, some of the statements right so c represents computations so i can say if my computations are correct that is if c right if c and i pay the electric bill right electric bill is for b so i, I know if c and b if c and b right so the choice b is wrong and choice d is also wrong right if c and b then i will run out of the money right that means then is r okay remember out of money is r then i run out of money will be equal to r right then the next premise charts right see here the next premise chart so we had to do and right so and if i don't pay the electric bill right so electric bill is represented by b right so if i don't pay the electricity bill that will be not p the power will be turned off right that means not p implies power that is p will be turned off that means not p then then we have a conclusion right so then if i don't run out of the money r means run out of money right so i don't run out of money that means not r and the power is still on that means and p implies my computers are incorrect right that means not c okay so the answer should be a it's not c here you have r or p but it should be r and p sorry not r or p here should be not r and p right so the answer should be a in a room there are only two types of people namely type 1 and type 2 type 1 people always tell the truth and type 2 people always lie you give a fair point to a person in that room without knowing which type he is from and tell him to toss it and hide the result from you till you ask for it. Upon asking the person, replace the following. The result of the toss is had if and only if I am telling the truth. Which of the following option is correct? Okay. So what we know is that type 1 if the person is type 1 okay then he is always going to tell the truth right so if the person is type 1 he is always going to tell the truth and the result of the toss will be had right if it is a type 1 okay now if he is a type 2 person see if he is a type 2 person remember 
he is always going to tell a lie right so that means this statement the result the result of the toss is head if and only if i am telling the truth right we know that type 2 person is always going to tell the lie right so this statement this complete statement is false okay so uh, if i say the result of the result of the toss is head as p okay if and only if that is by implication right if i am telling the truth that is let's assume that is q so we have p by implication q right that is basically equal to p q plus p bar q bar right uh, so we know that this statement this statement should be false this statement should be false because he is a uh, he is telling the lie that we know so this statement can it should be false that means both cannot be true because p and q will evaluate to true both cannot be false that means uh, p bar and q bar is going to evaluate as true right so one should be true and other should be false that we know okay now we assumed i'd say type 2 person right because type 1 then we know the toss is hard so we assumed it is a type 2 person that means if i am telling the truth right this is false because he is a type 2 person so he cannot tell the truth right so this statement this statement is false that means the q is false so q is false right that means p should be true right because the under statement should be false so that means if q is false then the statement p should be true so what is the statement p the result of the toss is head so if if see listen what i am saying if the uh, person is of type 2 then the result of the toss is head and already we know that if the type of the person is type 1 then also result of the to toss is head so always we can say whether the person is type 1 or type 2 the result is always head so this is a gate question and uh, we have a similar question in our practice book it says we have four criminals and they knew each other and they have made some statements assume one of the arrested for commit the crime and only one of the statement made above is true okay so you should understand that only one of the statements above made is true okay so if you see the um, statements by q and s okay uh, it's already given that only uh, one statement is true so is it possible that both these statements are false both these statements are false so q says s committed the crime so q says s committed the crime so let's assume this is false this statement is false that means s is not the person who committed the crime right so basically if we assume both these statements q and s are false then that means uh, from the statement of q we can derive that s is not the person who committed the crime now what s is saying is that what q said about me is false what q said about me is false right so if this statement is again false that means what q said about me is true right so what q said about uh, s that s committed the crime so he is saying uh, that s committed the crime right so uh, one statement is actually saying s does not commit the crime so other statement is saying s committed the crime so you cannot have both q and s as false so that means um, at least one of these should be true right so what we know that at least one of this q or s one at least one of this should be true okay now let's assume q is true q is true and s is false s is false 
okay so uh, what q is saying is true okay so q says s committed the crime so that is let's assume that is true so s committed the crime now s says what q said about me is false that's okay that's a false statement so uh, because only one is correct now what about r r says i did not do it remember we have assumed that q is saying the correct so all others are actually telling the wrong statement so r says i did not do it that means this statement is false right so that means r is actually the person who did it so r says i did it right because i did not do it this statement is false so i can conclude that from this statement r is r what are saying is false so r is the culprit right so uh, now uh, since i assumed q is uh, telling the correct he said s is the person who committed crime and now r says i did not do it this is statement is false that means r is the person who did the crime so now we have two persons who did the crime according to the assumption but we know that only one person committed the crime so q cannot be a true statement so that means only s is the correct statement okay because we know that we know that either q or s should be correct and we know now that s should be the correct statement so it says what q said about me is false so s says what q said about me is false and that is a correct statement okay what said, so what q is saying q says s committed the crime that is wrong right so s is not the person who committed the crime now p says q committed the crime that is also wrong because uh, we assume that only s is correct so whatever uh, p says is wrong what our q says is wrong now what our r says is also wrong so r says i did not do it r says i did not did not do it see this statement should be wrong because only one of the statement is correct right and we assume that uh, and we know no no assumption we know that s is true so uh, r what our statement r made should be wrong that means this statement is wrong that means r did the crime right did the crime right so we know that r is the person who did the crime okay so the answer should be b